Next, Governor Bruce Rauner again urges the legislature to pass a constitutional amendment that would put term limits on elected officials. This runs about 10 minutes. All right. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. This is another important day, good day for the people of Illinois. You know, over the past two years, the people of Illinois, Democrats and Republicans alike, have demanded reform. In 2014, the entrenched politicians holding power in Springfield ignored those demands. They used the Illinois court system to stop proposals for term limits and fair maps that could have led to the reforms that people want. Term limits and fair maps would give the people of Illinois more control over our broken political system. But the politicians holding power said no. Last week they said no again. A lower court threw out this year's fair maps proposal that has the support of nearly 600,000 Illinois citizens, support from both Democrats and Republicans. The only way to overcome entrenched political power is for the people of Illinois to never give up to keep pushing forward for reform. That's why we're here today. Right. Term limits is an issue I believe in deeply, and so do the people of Illinois. Term limits is supported by 80% of the people I talk to, and it seems like 80% of the politicians are opposed. Our people want term limits now more than ever, and it's why I'm so committed to continue the fight to make it happen. You know, I've been governor of Illinois for a year and a half now. We've gotten some important things done, but I'm as frustrated as everyone else that we haven't been able to tackle the biggest challenges facing our state. These past 18 months have been humbling experience for me. I've learned just how entrenched the politicians holding power are. They don't want to change. They're focused on their own power rather than empowering people. But I've also learned that you want me to keep working to fix our broken political system, and that is just what I plan to do. But I need your help to get it done. <coughs> As I've traveled the state, I've learned the most from talking to people, not politicians. I've talked to people in factory break rooms, in coffee shops, in milk and barns, in office buildings, and at kitchen tables. And you spend enough time in Springfield, it's inspiring to talk back with real people facing real challenges every day and seeing how hard they work to get ahead. It makes me want to work that much harder for all the people of Illinois. Our people want action on the challenges we face. People want us to fix the broken system that has put our state deep in the hole. But in Springfield, too many career politicians holding power have been happy to kick the can down the road and do nothing about our biggest problems. That's how we ended up with a $100 billion unfunded pension liability and even with our massive tax bills, our government spends $1.30 for every dollar it takes in. It simply defies common sense. The people I talk to every day balance their budgets, and they expect us to balance the states. And to do that, we need new people with their new ideas in Springfield. People in business are successful by making things happen. In politics, career politicians don't have to make anything happen to get reelected. If they play their cards right, they've got a lifetime job. We've got politicians in Springfield who've been there for 20, 30, 40 years. And look what's happened to our state in that time. It's time for change. Two years ago, 600,000 people in Illinois signed petitions calling for term limits on elected officials. The officials, the politicians, long in power, ignored the petitions. They won't even debate the issue. That's crazy. We desperately need new faces and new ideas in Illinois politics. We need to make serving in government more about public service and less about power and a government pension. That should be obvious. We need it in the Republican Party, in the Democratic Party, and throughout the political spectrum. New faces need to believe they have an even chance of winning in a truly democratic election. Let's look at the numbers. This year, over 88% of our candidates for the legislature face no opposition in their primary. 88% no primary opponent. Even more amazing, two-thirds have no opposition in the general election. Two-thirds no opposition in the general election. 
That's not democracy. That's a rigged system. The system has given so many advantages to incumbents in the legislature that it's very hard to vote them out, even if they're not doing a good job. That's just wrong. We can change that. We must change that. That's why I'm calling on the General Assembly to vote on a term limits constitutional amendment when members return for the ball veto session. It's certainly true that... <laughs> it's certainly true that getting term limits won't fix every problem we face. We've still got to wipe out corruption, conflicts of interest, and repair our broken pension system. We've got to balance our budget without balancing it just on the backs of the most needy. We've got to get our property taxes moving down, not up. All this will help create the environment we need to attract good jobs back to Illinois. And that's really what it's got to be about. We can overcome our challenges. We can do it together. But first, we've got to fix Illinois' broken political system. And when we fix the system, we can take on any challenge Illinois faces. Term limits will go a long way towards fixing the system by changing the culture back to public service, not personal gain, by forcing the lifetime politicians to find new jobs, and by bringing new faces and new ideas back to Springfield. All the changes we need won't happen right away. This will take time. But now we'll be moving in the right direction. Instead of gridlock and inaction, we'll be moving forward. And every day, we'll get closer to the future we, our kids, and our grandkids deserve. Illinois could be the economic engine of the Midwest again. We can be a magnet for the best companies from all over the world and for the best jobs. Just as it used to be, from our rich farmland to our factory floors to our tech startups, just like this one here, Illinois will be going and growing again. Now, cynics will say, this is an impossible dream to get term limits voted on by this General Assembly. But that dream can become a reality if the people of Illinois demand it. And we're not stopping with term limits. We'll keep pressing every day to lower our property taxes, to protect all our taxpayers, to protect and grow our jobs, and to ensure every child has a chance at a great education. We can do this if we work together for the reforms our state needs. We're facing tough challenges. But we can meet those challenges if we work together for reform. One step at a time, starting right now. It starts with term limits. Thank you all very much.